How is everybody doing today? Good afternoon. It's Friday. Whoa, what? I thought we'd do the news on Saturday. Well, yeah, we're kicking it to Friday to try out, see some things. My word, this mean has got to get under control. I think y'all say I look like one of the, oh, what the hell is that dude? Corey Feldman or something like that? I have no idea, but whatever. If that's an insult, I don't know. Since this is the news, we are actually going to do something pretty smart. You know what we're going to do? We're actually going to tell you what today is. Today is Friday, January 15th, all right? I apologize for having to do that because I'm recording this a few days previous. You know, we got to let Christian do his thing. And uh, we're going to just, this is going to be an interesting news today, okay? We're going to cover a broad topic of things, a lot. We're going over four stories, um, some good news, some funny news, some interesting news. A little bit bad news, but it is what it is. So our first story that we're going to go over comes to us from Medical News Today. And wouldn't you know, the headline is, Do Turkey Tail Mushrooms Benefit Health? Turkey Tail Mushrooms are multicolored fungi that grow on tree trunks and fall in trees in wooded areas. They are plentiful in various parts of the world, including the United States. These mushrooms have disc-like shape and varying colors. Their overall appearance may resemble that of a turkey tail, hence the name. For centuries, people have used these mushrooms, also known as Trimedes versicolor and Coriolis versicolor, as a health supplement. In traditional Chinese medicine, people use turkey tail extract Yun Zi as a treatment for respiratory conditions. Turkey tail extract appears to cause few, if any, adverse health effects. However, a person should always consult a doctor before taking it and only purchase a purified version from a reputable source. I agree with that. That's like with anything. You don't want to go out and, you know, I would say you don't want to go out and get some moonshine from a dude in the woods, but chances are he probably is doing, doing pretty good. Speculation. Cancer fighting potential. A number of studies have shown that turkey tail mushrooms have immune boosting properties. For example, its extract may be used in fighting certain types of cancers, according to one 2014 review. We're in 2021, so there's been some time up, but unfortunately, there's not too much research going on. Um, not a lot of updates, I guess you could say. The researchers looked at studies of five types of mushrooms, including turkey tails, complementary cancer treatments. They conclude the evidence base for using mushrooms in cancer treatments has greatly increased. However, none of these studies recommend any mushroom extract as a standalone treatment. Instead, the researchers have found that these extracts may have benefits for people who use them alongside treatments, such as chemotherapy. So if you break that down right there, we've already answered the question of will it cure it? Mm -mm. No, it needs to be long side by side with it. Turkey tail mushrooms contain compounds called polysaccharides, PSP and polysaccharide K, PSK, and appear to inhibit the growth of cancer cells. Some evidence suggests that PSP may also have the ability to stimulate the immune system, especially combined with other anti-cancer treatments. Researchers have isolated the PSK compound in Japan. PSK is approved adjuvant cancer treatment, according to the National Cancer Institute. Some evidence suggests that PSP may also have the ability to stimulate the immune system, especially combined with other anti-cancer treatments. Researchers have isolated the PSK compound. In Japan, PSK is an approved adjuvant cancer treatment, according to the National Cancer Institute. However, the Food and Drug Administration have not approved the product for use in the U.S. Colon cancer is common in the U.S. In fact, the American Cancer Society says that more than 100,000 people will receive a diagnosis of it in 2020. PSP from turkey tail extract may inhibit colon cancer cell growth according to some research. PSP may also stop the colon cancer cells from migrating and invading healthy cells, the study authors report. This was laboratory-based research, however, the team did not conduct a study on humans. A systematic review and meta-analysis found that PSK from the turkey tail is safe and effective supplement for people with colorectal cancer or other forms of the intestinal cancer. The authors of the review conclude that people who take PSK may, may, may have improved survival rates and they recommend combining PSK with, with chemotherapy. Breast cancer. After skin cancer, breast cancer is the most common cancer in the women in the U.S. according to the ACS. The first line of treatment for breast cancer is chemotherapy. 
but a limited amount of research has examined whether or not the turkey tail extract may be helpful during or after this treatment. In one very small study, nine participants with stage 1, 2, or 3 breast cancer underwent standard chemotherapy and radiation treatments. Then they took 3, 6, or 9 grams of turkey tail extract in divided doses each day for 6 weeks. After the analysis, the researchers concluded that the extract contributed to increased levels of cancer fighting cells in the immune system. Another study looked at natural supplements that doctors recommend in conjunction with chemotherapy. The author suggests that the turkey tail extract was the natural therapy most commonly prescribed to people with breast cancer, and they described the extract as chemotherapy compatible. Gut Health Benefits The compounds in turkey tail may also offer benefits for gut health. Like most mushrooms, turkey tail contains fiber, which is an indigestible part of plant foods that helps maintain healthy digestion. Research has shown that a healthy colony of bacteria in the gut can help prevent disease and support the immune system. Turkey tail may be helpful in keeping a balance of gut bacteria, therefore improving overall health. One study found that PSP from the turkey tail has prebiotic abilities and helps the gut regulate its balance of bacteria. Prebiotics are a type of fiber that acts as a food source for healthy bacteria in the gut. In addition, other evidence indicates that PSP regulates the gut microbiome by balancing levels of healthy bacteria in the intestines. Obesity. Limited research suggests that a component of turkey tail called protein-bound beta-glucan, PGB, could also help prevent obesity. A study in mice, for example, found that PBG helped prevent weight gain in those that ate a high-fat diet. The study found that PBG may help balance certain bacteria in the gut which can help prevent obesity. However, confirming these effects in humans will require further research. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to find uh, a ton of risks on that, or not risks, a ton of updates on that. Risks. Because turkey tail is a fungus, anyone with a mushroom or mold allergy should not use it. Taking any mushroom extract could cause a life-threatening reaction in some people. Researchers have yet to identify any severe side effects. There is no such thing as a side effect. It's an effect. It affects people differently. I really do not like those two words coupled together. It's misleading. Researchers have yet to identify any severe effects associated with turkey tail. However, some milder adverse effects may include heartburn, constipation, nausea, chest pain, cold or flu-like symptoms. Anyone with underlying health conditions should consult a doctor before trying any new supplement, especially the turkey tail extract. Alright, that was a pretty cool one there. A little bit of legit information for us. Let's pull up and see how long we are into this. I know you're going to have some editing to do, Christian, but it's all good. So help keep me on track. Um, this one was a topic suggested by a viewer. It was suggested in the comments on our last video. Deep murals in Spain show man may have used magic mushrooms 6,000 years ago. For all those who thought hallucinogenic drugs took off in the 1960s, think again. The scientists believe they have found evidence of magic mushrooms 6,000 years ago. Cave murals found in Spain appear to depict them in religious rituals, which would be the oldest evidence of their use in Europe. The Selva Pascuala cave mural near the town of Villa del Humo has a bull in the center, but researchers from America and Mexico are focusing in a row of 13 small mushroom-like objects. The mushroom has a bell-shaped cap with a dome and lacks a ring around the stalk just like the objects in the 6,000 year old mural they say. It also has stalks which vary from straight to sinuous. The same as those drawn thousands of years ago, they add in the latest issue of New Scientist. But even though it's several millennia old, it is not thought to be the oldest painting showing hallucinogenic mushrooms. And I tell you what, as a side note, I, Christian's getting ready to put that up here. Anybody that wants to tell me people weren't tripping balls 6,000 years ago, look at, just look at this. Whoever drew that was tripping balls, and they made sure to include the mans. A mural in Algeria that may show Silas Saib Marii is 7,000 to 9,000 years old, according to NewScientist.com. And I can't say just last month. I have no idea when this article was written. I know it's a couple of years old. It was revealed the Chava de Pataac cave in southern France is to be the subject of a 3D documentary by German filmmaker Werner Herzog, as it is thought to be where man made his first attempts to write. 
I meant, whoa, I didn't realize that. You trip balls and learn how to write. Or you paint your nails. I get it. Since its rediscovery in 1994, the cave in southern France has offered scientists a veritable treasure trove of perfectly preserved paintings. Alongside these are evidence of attempts at communication 30 to 40,000 years ago. Well, last week was a special episode, if I might say. Um, we went over some people that were having great times with their lives. Learning on their journey. We learned how a 100-pound girl can hold back two dudes, 35 agents. What's up? And wouldn't you happen to know it? Today, we go back to Florida. Good old Miami. And guess what? Florida man has the worst mushroom trip ever. Pulled from ocean by Key Sheriff. I love you, Florida man. Florida man, you are amazing. Do not ever stop being you, Florida man. Daniel Yepes learned a little something about psychedelic mushrooms this weekend. Namely, that too many can make you trip your balls off so badly that walking slowly and determinedly into the ocean while screaming, It's time for me to die! Seemed like an amazing idea. I'm not going to lie, bro. Watching that might have been an amazing scene. Luckily for Yepes, a 21-year-old from Miami, Florida man! A sheriff in Long Keys was there to jump in the water and pull him out with a good old bear hug. <laughs> Yepes, who works as a swatch salesman in Aventura, took some mushrooms in a Long Key State Park just before midnight on Saturday, according to the police report. At some point, Yepes freaked out sufficiently that a friend called an ambulance to the park. When a key sheriff's deputy arrived, Yepes took off running for the water, screaming he was going to drown himself and kill himself, the officer says. If that officer would have just sat back and watched, it would have probably been absolutely hilarious watching some guy, like, hold his head underwater and go, I can't breathe. No shit. <laughs> just my thoughts. <laughs> the, friend <laughs> the friend jumped in to try to pull his friend out, but Yep has fought him off and then held himself underwater. The deputy decided to drop his gun belt and jump in after him. I'm telling you, he would have just came off. He would have just, <gasps> I can't breathe. No shit. He got stuck in the loop dunking his head underwater going, I can't breathe, no shit. I can't breathe, no shit. Like, dude, sweet, dude, sweet. What's mine say, dude? What's mine say, sweet? What's mine say, dude? What's mine say, sweet? Like, that shit, okay? That's what would have happened. And it would have been the laugh. And of course, if you're right there and he keeps his head under a little bit, then you pull him back up. Let him learn a lesson, okay? A few hours later at a local hospital, Yepes was contrite. Yepes also apologized many times over for striking me and said that he remembered very little of the incident. He thanked me for potentially saving his life. Yepes faces a felony count of resisting an officer with violence and a felony drug charge for marijuana and a pipe that police later found in his car. Florida man, I can't wait to see you next week, my friend. I'm pretty sure we're going to have a lot of Florida man psychedelic stories. And this one here, this one is amazing. I actually had this come across my feed earlier. And it was, uh, so Adam Harrington over on Learn Your Land released a video a few days ago talking about a mushroom that grows inside your body. I thought this was something related to that. Great video, you learn a lot from it. So I'm reading this article and I instantly realized that this is not what's going on and that what we're about to listen to, which you're, what I'm about to read to you guys, it is not funny. It's very sad and it shows the lengths that some people are willing to go to in a confused frame of mind trying to help themselves. If you know anybody like this, you need to get them some help, Okay. Magic mushroom grow in man's blood after injection with shroom tea. That's right. That's exactly what you heard me say. Magic mushrooms grow in man's blood after injection with mushroom tea. Mm -hmm. He went there. A man brewed a tea from magic mushrooms and injected the concussion into his veins. Several days later, he ended up at the emergency department with the fungus growing in his blood. The man spent 22 days in the hospital, with 8 of those days in an intensive care unit, where he received treatment for multi-system organ failure. 
Now released, he is still being treated with long-term regimen of antibiotic and antifungal drugs, according to the description of the case published January 1st in the Journal of the Academy of Consultation Liaison Psychiatry. The case didn't reveal whether injecting shroom tea can cause persistent psychoactive effects, as sometimes seen when people ingest a fungus orally, the doctors wrote in the report. For example, in rare cases, people can develop a condition called hallucinogenic-induced persisting perception disorder, HPPD. Yeah, that's where you don't realize that you're back, and then you have these trips that you keep going back, and you're like, I didn't even do anything. Nah, you're stuck in a state of delusion right now, and you need help. You need people that care about you. I get that part. We watching somebody deal with it right now. Who is getting help? Where they experience vivid flashbacks of their trip long after the fact. The case underscores the need for ongoing public education regarding the dangers attendant to the use of this and other drugs in ways other than they are prescribed, the doctors wrote. By injecting shrooms into his bloodstream, the 30-year-old patient had hoped to relieve symptoms of bipolar disorder and opioid dependence, according to the report. His family members noted that he recently stopped adhering to his prescribed bipolar medications and was cycling between depressive and manic states. The man found online reports that described the potential therapeutic effects of hallucinogens such as LSD and psilocybin mushrooms, which prompted him to boil down shrooms into a mushroom tea. He filtered the tea by drawing it through a cotton swab before injecting it into his body. In the following days, he became lethargic, nauseated, and his skin began to yellow. He soon developed diarrhea and began vomiting blood. His family found him and took him to the emergency room, noting concern he also seemed very confused. I bet. The doctors noted that he could not participate in the meaningful interview due to his altered mental state. Multiple organs, including the liver and kidneys, began to fail, and the man was transferred to the ICU. His blood tested positive for a bacterial infection with the microbe Brevibacillus and a fungal infection from psilocybin cubendus, meaning the magic mushrooms he injected was now growing in his blood. That's some serious shit right there. I may believe we all mushrooms, but I ain't trying to legit be a mushroom. Alright? In addition to antibiotic and antifungal drugs, the man needed to be placed on a ventilator after he experienced acute respiratory failure where fluids build up in the air sacs of the lungs. Thankfully, the patient survived this ordeal and was later discharged from the hospital. In most research studies, scientists administer the drug in pill form, but in few instances, doctors have delivered psilocybin via an intravenous injection, according to a 2008 report published in the journal Neuropharmacology. But these injections are given in tightly controlled doses and under medical supervision and they do not contain any fungi. The compound psilocybin alone is not alive and cannot grow in the body. When used recreationally, magic mushrooms are typically made into a tea, eaten raw or dried, ground into a powder and put in capsules, or coated in chocolate. They are not injected into the bloodstream. Do not inject mushrooms. Use your common sense. This friend, his common sense was gone. No checks and bounds. Be smart. Shrooms induce mind-altering trips by interacting with certain receptors in the brain. Specifically, the psilocybin breaks down into psilocin, a substance that acts like the brain chemical serotonin, which plays roles in mood and perception. But a bad trip can trigger anxiety, fear, and confusion, as well as elevated blood pressure, vomiting, headaches, and stomach cramps. Magic mushrooms carry an added risk because they resemble some species of poisonous mushrooms, so people sometimes consume the wrong one by mistake. Absolutely. If you don't know what you're harvesting in the wild, do not eat it. Sometimes you don't even want to touch them. It's best to admire nature from a distance. It really is, especially if it's playing with your life. Several U.S. cities have decriminalized psilocybin, and in November 2020, Oregon moved to legalize its use as a therapeutic drug. As of now, psilocybin is still classified as a Schedule One substance under federal law, meaning that the drug has no accepted medical use in the U.S. and has a high potential for abuse. Bullshit. 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 
Bullshit. Bullshit. Bullshit. Bullshit. Bullshit. Bullshit. Bullshit. Bullshit. Bullshit. Bullshit. Bullshit. Bullshit. However, current research suggests that this potential for abuse has been historically overestimated and is actually quite low, according to the 2018 Neuropharmacology Report. Man. Well, that was uh, quite interesting. Oh, we can come down here. I think we're going to let it go at this one. You know what, friends? I hope you guys enjoy your week we're coming into the weekend now you know it's friday evening i hope you guys are going to have a good weekend as soon as you get in the door i hope you give your families a hug give them a kiss you know tell them you appreciate them spend your time with them man have a good weekend friends i appreciate you i just realized that's going to be a bitch to deal with right there that little bit of what we're going to have to fuck you that's going to be a problem for me. It's at this point in time, I'd like to actually, before we go, this show has been brought to you by myself today. If you'd like to go over to micomadness.redbubble.com. Yeah, we got all kinds of stuff over there from shirts, purses, cards, paintings, all that. It's all original. Um, my friend, uh, yeah, she hooked us up with that. Uh, I'd like to thank Christian for this one. He's absolutely going to edit this one. You can find him at Christian at daytodayphotography.com. Thank you a lot, my friend. We're going to keep this moving forward. We're going to keep on going and keep on growing. And also, I'd like to welcome our good old friend, Get a Fix Visuals. He's uh, joined the team as well, you know. So if you guys haven't seen the podcast that we got up on the other channel, I'm going to drop a link down here below. Uh, we're on our. I think today we're dropping our third episode for it. It's just a little bit of a morning fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. You know, we're going to start getting some visuals into it. And the longer it goes on, the more encouragement the team gets. Right now, three of us rocking out with it. For the videos, we got our girl doing our graphics for our merch. So that's four of us, you know. We're going to keep on moving forward with this stuff, man. So, I'd like to thank you. Seriously, you know. And if you guys like what you see, feel free to support the show through Redbubble. I got uh, Teespring as well. I don't think I can put it on this channel yet. But, uh, yeah. And also, give thank uh, thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. And if you guys enjoy the video, give it a like. Give it a thumbs up. Tell Christian good job. Tell Christian where he could... Well, talk to Christian, man. He's a pretty cool dude, you know. We need some input from you guys, you know. The more input you give us, the better we can grow the channel, so... All right, friends, I'd like to thank you for your time. It's all we have. It doesn't exist. Much love and stay chubby. Thank you. Here we come, Christian. Calm the fuck down. You're probably like, this is really, really fucking stupid. You pressed record, you could have hit stop. I feel you on that, buddy. It is what it is, but we got to get the poof ball up front like that. This hat's going to suck wearing this. I can see it now, dude. Because I'm going to take your heart, sitting in a city with a hotel fart, and I can't stop. Boy, boy, Shit, you can't even see that because of the fucking green screen. The mushroom news is so really good because I got high. Ooh.